We use nitrogen two seconds to purge the bottle because nitrogen takes the air out. If there's any kind of air-loving bacteria in there, it just kills it. At the same time, nitrogen is heavier than air. So when we fill the, the wine in, push the air out. Yeah. When you put it in here, all the way up, all the way in nice and straight. I treat it like I treat my wife, because otherwise it spits wine out. The filled bottles go over here on your right, and then we go into the next station. This is a corker. It's a spring load. Push it down, and the bottleneck needs to rest here in the corker. You drop a cork in here, and this cork doesn't have an up or down. It doesn't matter which way, just don't do it square, okay? <laughs> Had somebody trying that. And all of a sudden you have a nicely filled cork bottle of wine. The next station is the sleeves. You need to decide which sleeve you want to use with your label. The, the trick is just the timing and how quickly you push it up. You don't need to push it up hard, just fast. This is the, uh, the fourth set of bottles that we're doing. And this year we're, we're doing a uh, Cabernet, which we're bottling right now, which is wonderful. Do you remember or do you need a... I think the, the, the quality of it is every bit as good as anything I can buy in the store. And because of the connection that you feel to it, it it's a lot more fun to drink. And the other part of it is through the whole process, both Jurgen and Lisa are really terrific about telling you why you're doing what you're doing, why it is that they've chosen a particular machine, or why it is that you need to have it in a certain balance. And so as a result, you really feel connected to the wine that you end up with. And it's a lot more fun. This is my family's bottle. Um, it's a Cabernet, and we have Kazakis Estates on it. People think that it's really cool. It's fun, it's fun crushing, it's fun bottling, it's fun watching the fermenting process. You can come and visit your wine, talk to it along the way. Every time you crack open a bottle, first of all, you got a story to tell and I think you enjoy it on a very different level. It is a great place. You can have a lot of fun doing it, but because of the way that they do it and how careful they are about it, the end product is actually a really wonderful wine.